Pilots and Ground Crew, welcome back to my channel. Uh, well, I've got some new motors for you now. The iFlight Cyber Zing Motors. The 2207 1777 kV, which is the sweet spot for 6S LiPos. And obviously, we've got four. So let's have a look. And they are bling motors. I uh, don't know if you see, see them flicker in there a bit, we'll zoom in. And it's not just about how pretty they look. You can get them in sort of like a silvery colour which I've got and you can also get them in a gold. But uh, if I zoom right in first of all so you can have a good look in case you've never seen them before. Well they come in a great case by the way, fully padded up. Even, even the lid's got padding in. You know what I mean? It's 100% protected, so that's nice. But yeah, so I hope you can see that. If I hold it that way and just turn it, there's not much light in here, but nice and shiny and sparkly and uh, zingy. Right? But it's not just about the zing. Right? It's about the actual motor itself, what it can do, what it's capable of, and everything else. So, let's just talk a little bit about the specs. I'll go through it quick because I know a lot of people get bored with the specs and they just want to see the flight. Because at the end I'm going to whack them on a model and give them a test flight. So, we're using high strength 4mm titanium alloy shaft. Right? And as soon as you hear the word titanium you know it's strong. Alright, uh, let's see, uh, they're coming at 34 grams each, so maybe they're a little bit heavier than some motors, but uh, they've got increased performance. Alright, they're using NSK Ultra Smooth Durable Bearings. I say durable slowly because we all hate it when we lose bearings. I hope you can see in there because... Uh, also, the bearings, if you can see them, they're rounded right, for ultra smooth running. Okay, hope you can see that. While we're here, the copper wire inside is 220 Celsius heat resistant copper wire. Right, so it can really take some heat if it has to. Hope you can see it. I'll tell you what, I'll zoom in a little bit closer. No, oh, that's too close, going out of focus. Still out of focus, sorry about this. That'll have to do, that's the best my camera can do I'm afraid. But yeah, they are pretty. In fact, it's still out of focus. Need a new camera. There you go, go to my homepage, top right. PayPal, leave us a donation. <laughs> anyway, yeah, where was I? Uh, they've got an advanced inner circuit design which makes smoothing the power distribution which basically means when the power gets thrust into them for them to spin right, the technology inside when it spins the motor it actually distributes the power real smoothly so you, don't, you, you get less chance of any distortion basically you'll get a nice smooth running motor Okay, and I think that's it. Oh, the, the magnets, they're uh, high temperature magnets, uh, N52H. Now, to me, I won't lie to you, N52H means nothing to me. I literally read that off a bit of paper. That means nothing to me, N52H. But the high temperature magnets, and let's be honest, if you're running 6S lipos, right, you're going to have a lot of temperature, so you want plenty of high temperature resistance. And there, there you go then. They are pretty. I wish they were, I should go get a torch and shine it on them. Because, uh, yeah, they're pretty as well. Right? And in the sunlight, they sparkle. But you've just heard the specs. They're a powerful, well-made motor by iFlight. And I can't wait to give them a rip. Like I said, 6S. Right, 1777 kV, which is the perfect sweet spot for 6S on your 5 inch motors and I know only 5 inch quads I know some people say 1800 or 1700 but this sort of like 1777 kV is seems to be seems to be from what I've read about and stuff like that the perfect sweet spot so there you go then pilots and ground crew uh, my nails are a mess aren't they 
uh, I'm going to whack them on a model and uh, give them a rip. Right, just before we head to the field, something I forgot to mention to do with the motors. It, it's the nuts. It, it might be a simple little thing, but uh, you don't have to use any Loctite with them. What iFlight have done, they've actually put like a, a rubber type seal. You can see it in the picture, but it's like a rubbery seal on the nut. And as you tighten the nut onto the motor, you can feel it biting. Now, it's only a simple little thing, but at the same time, it saves a lot of time. We all know how messing about it is, how much messing about it is, I should say, when you're putting the Loctite on and everything, and you don't have to use any of these. And I thought, yeah, bloody good idea. I wish all motors came like this because it really made life easier and it really does lock the motor in really tight. Anyhow, I just thought I'd mention it. So, uh, right, let's get on with the video, get to the field, and let's test these bad boys out then. Roll VT. Okay then. Right. For purposes of testing the motors, I've took them folding props off, right, because they just didn't have the pitch to give them a good blast to test the motors out properly. What I like to do with all new motors is what you'll see here. Take off, <laughs> obviously, goes without saying. Give them a quick blast, right. Not too much, don't go too crazy. But then I like to land, which you'll see in a second. And then just test the motors, see if, st see if they've got hot, in case me notch filtering's wrong or something like that. Just to touch the motors and check they haven't got hot or anything before taking off again. That's why I'm landing here for a quick second, then I'm going to take off again. However, you don't need to see all that, so we'll just do a jump cut. And we're off again. Yeah, the motors were still cold, so... I was happy to give them a good bit of power and give them a good punch. Yeah, this was the maiden of the motors, right? But after this, I had about four or five more flights and I really did push them to the limit and they stayed nice and cool. So I'm happy with my notch filtering and I'm also happy the way the motors performed. I was running a 6S, uh, 1250 milliamp. That punch out there, well, well not exactly a punch out, but that blast of power there, right, uh, took me up to about 80 mile an hour. And I reckon if I'd have had more room, it could have gone faster. But yeah, these motors are awesome. I'm really happy with them. And yeah, they look nice, but uh, the specs and the performance, so... I'll be sticking with them and if I need any new motors it will be these because as I said they look great and they perform fantastically and with them having that sweet spot of 17, 77 kV they really do seem to balance well but I don't think they do as good with them foldable props but them foldable props are alright for standard freestyle and there you go just a quick little jump cut because uh, that flight lasted about another well, couple of minutes or a minute and a half or something like that and that was enough for you to see the motors i give them a good punch and as you can see there on the screen 80 miles per hour so yeah they're bloody good motors so there's a link in the description if you want to get some and i've wrote down everything i told you about the specs I basically copied it all down so there's loads of information in the description as well okay then pilots and ground crew i'm gonna leave it there and uh, thanks for watching and if you're after new motors and you want to spend a little bit more rather than a standard cheap cheaper set shall we say and there's nothing wrong with the cheaper sets so i've been running them uh, emax ecos for a while i decided to step step up a bit and these are bloody bloody good motors all right then pilots and ground crew well leave it there thanks for watching and cheers